something a technical person has written for a member of the public. And I have got no knowledge of whatever has been written. I haven't done that course or haven't studied anything to do with it. Make sure that people are informed so that they can give informed consent. How often is the study? Is it going to be intrusive on your life? So this one looks like a lovely lay summary, which I would be happy to read, and I think the other one was... Um... And this is the one I would ignore. This is just, to me, it's just a mass of words. The first thing I would say was you have to think about your text. How do you pronounce that? What's that? Because they call you a spell check. I hope. <laughs> so the first even three lines, I can't pronounce the words and I don't know what that is. Acronyms, which are the bane of my life, uh, acronyms really need to be explained. And if the explanation happens to turn out to be jargon, then you need to explain the jargon. To me, a lay summary has to be broken up into sections. Each section has to be titled and it has to be simple, small words. The, actually, I like the way it was spread out into like, um, I think is it one and a half spacing? Because I think it's, it's just easier to read and you can, um, you can mark things a bit easier. People who read your lay summary are just normal members of the public. So it's very, very important that you get your point across clearly. You've got to remember that a lot of your patients are not very well educated, so therefore it's got to be simple. You're going to have to talk to them in a way that they'll feel comfortable with. In fact, maybe English is not their um, first language. There are some applications you read and you feel that the researcher's heart is absolutely just not in this at all. And some research summaries you read, some applications you think, gosh, these people are really keen on this and they're really enthused about it. And this comes through very forcibly. And that's what really makes a good research summary to me. Mm -hmm.